highlights channel of the Ranveer show. This is TRS Clips. Let's go to Ketu. Ketu is the body of Rahu without the head. So Ketu governs again like Rahu, it governs all spirits, particularly spirits, but also high level of spirituality, very high level. See, Jupiter, as I was mentioning, is more like uh, uh, wisdom and philosophy. Yes, but this is mysticism, mystical experiences, very strange experiences, but also spirits. Okay, both of them are very much there, and it also governs a certain degree of detachment. Correctly placed, Ketu will govern detachment. Correctly placed, Ketu can also show whether a person will attain to very high states like Nirvana and all these things. Certain, but that is, a, in my opinion, that judgment should not be done because very high. When you talk about that level of spirituality, they actually go beyond grahas. Okay, it's not. It's it's what happens is that after a person has achieved something, then people try to retrofit and say, "Iske liye hua, uske liye hua." But actually, that level of spirituality is beyond grahas. Okay. Ketu is also very brave, okay, but Ketu is a bit mindless. So Ketu is irrational, completely, because it doesn't have a head. So wherever Ketu is placed, that is the area where you will work mostly either out of intuition or whatever organic feeling you have. Uh, thinking too much is not going to help. Wherever the Ketu is placed in the horoscope, so Ketu requires a head. One of the best deities to worship to control Ketu is Ganpati. Okay, because Ganpati himself has his head replaced by uh, Worshipping Ganpati is very good to bring Ketu under some degree of control and feeding fishes and things like that. They are also governed by Ketu. Okay. So Ketu's placement tells you A about spirits and about detachment also. Detachment means it can be very a strong degree of detachment in the sense if suppose the house of spouse has Ketu, then it may show that the marriage, um, in the marriage there is a certain degree of, could be a disconnect between the husband and wife. Maybe same house they are staying, but there is no connection properly. It's like two roommates, that's it, kind of. So those things, it could be in other areas also. So these are the three fundamental themes of Ketu. One is that it could be spirits or it could be high level of spirituality. Achha, Ketu also governs very high level of mathematical ability, by the way. Very high level. I'm not talking ordinary level. This is like uh, international uh, best mathematicians of the world. Uh, that is very typically Ketu has this ability. Or very high caliber chess players. Not just normal chess players. This is like super grandmasters. Okay, where they're looking at the most complicated positions. Because after some point, Ketu is the graha of intuition. Most important graha of intuition because it doesn't think. The mind is not there. Your intuition gets blocked because you have a rational mind. Okay. But rational mind has its uses because until the intuition is uh, purified and correctly built on, it will guide you wrongly because you are getting, you can get information from all sorts of places. Uh, so Ketu governs these things uh, and uh, among deities, one of the, as I mentioned, the first deity to worship is Ganpati for that matter. There are certain Ganesh Rudrakshas which with energized with mantras, they can help an individual during Ketu uh, troubles. If there are very significant amount of problems, a certain placement of Ketu. In Tantra, the Mahavidya known as Dhumavati to control Ketu. She is one of the most peculiar Mahavidyas. Okay. Uh, Ketu also controls things like smoke, particular. So Rahu and Ketu's difference is, to give an example, suppose somebody is afflicted by a disease. If you if Rahu is the cause of the disease, uh, you go to a doctor, the doctor will tell you, ha ha, theek ho jaya, koi baat nahi. this is what the is. You go to doctor B, he will say, ah, it's very simple, no problem, but he will give a different diagnosis. You go to 10 different places, all of them will give you full confidence. He will them 100% will get cured, but 10 different diagnoses. If Ketu is governing the disease, 10, 110 doctors also will not find out what is the root cause of the problem. So it's like this smokiness about it. It's not the vision is not there, clarity is not there. And Rahu is the pretense of clarity. Zada hi dikra hai. Jitna hai usse zada dikra hai. Rahu's illusion, Ketu's mystery. Sort of. In a way, briefly saying that is right. And uh, both of them get 
involved in yogas obviously there are always seven houses apart rahu and ketu will always be seven houses apart okay and they get involved in the uh, grahan and all these things etc so so ketu fundamentally is in a way both intuition spirituality spirits uh, uh, and detachment these things are governed by ketu so these are playlists made especially for you we've tailor made learning experiences for you the rs clips